we're going to tie a classic gray ghost. Uh, this is a Gaelic Supreme streamer hook. Pretty heavy duty hook. Uh, start out with, um, we're going to create a wing assembly. So take your silver pheasant body feather and some uh, dried up varnish, or in this case some sallies, and uh, put a little bead of your varnish down and take a jungle cock eye and glue it to the cheek obviously uh, you're gonna prepare all these materials beforehand and uh, you just pretty much you know look at your hook select your hackles strip your hackles down to where you want them to be for the wing length and then measure up your body feather against your hackles as you can see hackles have a curve to them depending on if they're from the right or left side of the body so just make sure you select you know opposing feathers so that way the curvature naturally accentuates the fly and just repeat the process with the hackles as well just put a little bead of varnish down and sandwich another hackle on top of it and if you have them all stripped and set up and ready to go it's a really fast easy process and there's no guesswork and it shouldn't you know shouldn't have any mistakes from it. I like to do this at the beginning so that way it's ready by the time I'm ready to put the wing on it's dry, had time to dry. I also like to select uh, hackles that have somewhat rounded tips. Um, you can use pointed tips as well, it just I think it looks better with rounded tips. Once uh, your wings are done, put your cheeks on, and then you'll just want to repeat the process for the other side. This just makes putting the wing on a thousand times easier in hand. So once you have that done, so start your thread and start it right at the point of the hook. Trim out your waist, and then I I go down to about the barb or so. Now you're going to want to take a piece of tinsel, and you you want a pretty significant piece because that's going to be your tag as well as your body ribbing. And being such a long shank hook, you definitely want to have enough. and cut a taper into your tinsel so that way as you go to wrap it up it will be thinner and increase in width as you go up and tie that in just above the barb and wind it back up and have the tinsel end right where you started the thread so that way you don't have any lumps and bumps See, I kind of pseudo made it off by just spiraling it up so I could cut out some silk. And uh, unfortunately, I ran out of Pearsall's orange um, silk. Uh, so this is some JEC, so I had to use a lot more of it than I would have if it was Pearsall's. But tie it in and just have it go the full length of the body. And take your time periodically, you have to pull it back up into place. And since this is a finer thread, you do want to, or a finer floss, you do want to make sure that you're doing nice, good edge to edge wraps. And it's going to take you a little while to go all the way up. As you can see, I sped the video up quite a bit just so you don't have to <laughs> watch how painfully <laughs> slow that process actually was.
and do a little half hitch so you don't have to worry about it. You're going to stop qu quite a ways from the eye of the hook because these heads um, on these flies do tend to be long. Um, so, you know, it's probably four or five mils. And then, again, just take your time and wind your floss up. And, again, it's going to take a while and it's painfully slow. Um, just make sure you take your twist out periodically so that way you do have a flat body and you don't have a coiled uh, look to the body. And if you need to stop and take a break, just put it in catch real quick. You can also see I cut the thread off so that way I wasn't fighting that while I was wrapping the body up. And once you get up towards the eye, I go a little bit past where the head will actually start, just so it's well secured and no chance of the floss coming undone. And once you get just past where your head will start, take a piece of black thread and start it off. And tie in your floss. And once you get that tied in secured, go ahead and trim out your waste piece of floss and tag into your thread. And tidy everything up. And start your tinsel. Make sure the tapered cut edge of your tinsel is facing forward, so that way you have a flat side to work with on the back. And just take your time. Keep it nice and tight. Edge to edge wraps with your tinsel. Once you get to the floss, just make sure your last turn tinsel for your tag covers the base of the floss. And then start doing your ribs. And how tight a ribs you do is pretty much personal preference. I like the floss to just barely be peeking through the ribs. And also I have a very wide piece of tinsel, so kind of had to do it that way anyway. But whatever you like. And just take your time. Try to get them as evenly spaced as possible. And just put it in catch as you wind it up. Pretty much once you set your, your angle that you're working with, it's pretty easy to keep it. Mostly because the tinsel's going at a certain angle, and to keep it tight and around the body, it'll progress at the same rate all the way up. And then once you get up to the head, just make sure you're careful when you're tying it off, as tinsel does like to cut thread. So I put a couple wraps down, and then I trim the tinsel at an angle against the head, so that way it's, it's easier to tie it down, and then I roll it over once I do trim it out, so it's less likely to cut the thread. And once you do that, the main body work is done. Next will be the belly, underwing, and main wing. The top, the crags and cliffs, the air is thin. So you'll find a mountain path on down the hill. 